Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Getting ready to check on the water conditions, the beach conditions here up in North Naples at El Norwegian's Pass State Park. Beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning here. 76 degrees right now. Nice blue skies, blue water. The sun's not quite hitting the beach yet. Still behind the trees. I'm down in area one on the boardwalk. Nobody on the beach to the north. I don't think there's anybody. One soul way down by Vanderbilt, down to the south there. But look at this. Here's one of our sea turtle nests right at the bottom of the boardwalk. And you can see raccoon tracks going over to it. And they were digging around the nest. These darn raccoons are really hungry. This is nest 35. This one's getting close to hatching time. You can see the darn raccoons are trying to get into this nest. They are desperate for food. They are a nuisance, the raccoons. I still feel sorry for them. They've been coming out and eating some of the dead fish on the beach and it's been killing them. But they are, like I said, they're desperate here at the beach because there's no one here to, to have picnics or anything and leave garbage behind. So they've been coming out and taking their chances eating the dead fish and they turn around dying. But you can see there's still dead fish on the beach. Last Tuesday, the rangers had cleaned this all up. Cleaned all the dead fish off the beach. Down here, they started down in Area 1 and worked their way north. Water looks pretty nice down here, pretty clear. Not getting that smell of the red tide. That's a good thing. I didn't smell it yesterday either. We're still under a red tide warning. They smell the darn dead fish on the beach. Yesterday, our friend Roy had a little mishap coming back from his physical therapy. He kind of slipped and his wheels got under, his legs got under the wheelchair and he's busted up open one of the blisters he has on his leg. So that was a big mess. So that just made him more frustrated. He's just very upset with himself right now, Roy. He doesn't, he just doesn't have the patience <laughs> to be in that rehab. So everybody that goes and visits just tries to calm him and tell him everything's gonna be all right. He's just gotta do what they tell him and have faith. Just like he tells us, he's gotta take his own advice. I see two people down on the beach, way down to the south. 
Actually, I see three people now way down there. That's looking south down towards Vanderbilt. Right there is where the park ends, where the condos start. That water is very, very flat out there in the Gulf this morning. Blue sky. Just some very small little waves lapping on the shore. Absolutely gorgeous. people up in oh it looks like up in area four up to the north some brave souls it's a little breeze blowing right now very very slight breeze feels like it might be coming from the southeast which is good anything that blows offshore is what we want but as you can see, there's still the red tide warning in effect. There's still dead fish floating out in the water. There's a little catfish floating. So the red tide is definitely still out there. No doubt about it. Beautiful weather though, absolutely gorgeous. I don't see any little fish jumping here in the water. Usually when I'm taking my morning walks, We'll see all kinds of little fish jumping right out here just offshore. Don't see any of that this morning. Another indicator that the red tide is still lurking around here. Such beautiful colors though. how many fish there are in the sea you would think you've seen we've seen millions of them washed up on the beach but it's just a drop in the bucket peaceful out here and obviously with the red tide we're not going to see many beachgoers I see two people walking down towards me 
There's one person behind me. That's about it. Still dealing with all the dead fish, unfortunately. You can see some of them down here. These are more like bait fish here. There's a few catfish. That's a catfish over here, the bigger one. Still lots of eels on the beach. I don't know if we've had any sea turtle hatchings. Footprints on the beach. Nothing here. It's just so heartbreaking seeing our beaches empty like this. Two people. Normally, at this time, a beautiful morning like this, there'd be a lot more people out here on the beach. There'd be more than three or four people out here. There's one person way, way, way down here. Doing some shelling, actually. Look how flat that water is. Absolutely beautiful. Except for the red tide. Good morning. Beautiful, except for the red tide. <laughs> when am I gonna not have to say that? It's getting depressing. That's the one thing I tell Roy, you are not missing anything at the beach. Don't worry about being here in rehab. rehab. You're in a better place right now. The beach stinks. Sea turtle nest number 52 over there. We have 60 or 61 nests here on the beach. I can't recall if I saw a 61. I think I saw a 61 somewhere Raccoons, dang it. Raccoons got into this nest. Number 32, darn it. See all the, the broken eggs? Those son of a guns. I can't blame them. They're starving to death, but they're taking out our sea turtle nests here. Here's what's left of one of the sea turtle eggs here. What a shame. What a shame. Survival of the fittest, I guess, is what they say in nature. Oh. I hate seeing that. Those sea turtles have some pretty hefty odds stacked against them. They say one in a thousand survives. Wonder how this nest is doing. We have one nest that's way up in the, oh, looks like something got into it too, darn it. This nest was in such a great spot too, up high on the beach. 
the darn raccoons got into it as well. See how they get into the side of the nest and under the metal? Ugh. Nest 58. I don't think they got all the eggs out of there. But they got quite a few of them. What a shame. This one was in such a great spot, high and dry, up in the picnic area. I was excited when I saw that one. I knew that one was gonna be around. It wasn't gonna get washed away by a high tide, but now the darn raccoons are at it. Ugh. Boy, this sand is really soft. Without a lot of people out here walking on it, it's really starting to fluff up. I'm in area two now, area two, just walking north. Darn it. Digging, look at that. They were digging on both sides of this nest. It doesn't look like they got into the egg chamber. They were trying on both sides of the nest here without any success, thankfully. Nest number 37. <sighs> Oh, it looks like they've been digging over here, too. There is no stopping them. How did they get into the middle here? Wow. This nest 38. They've been trying to get into that one, too. Those darn raccoons. Man. Somebody needs to get, give them some garbage to eat. <laughs> well, still nobody up here in front of me. I've seen three people on the beach so far this morning trying to take a morning walk. You can breathe out here. You don't have to deal with that horrible odor of the red tide, but you do have to deal with the odor of the dead fish on the beach still. It looks like no nest has been unto left untouched here. Nest 43. I hope a couple of these nests survive. And the poor little sea turtles got to go out and deal with the red tide and all the other obstacles. This is where I came in yesterday. The ramp at area two, the north end of area two. Nest 53, the raccoons have been digging around that one as well. They are relentless in their search for food right now. Nest 29, or 39. It's more digging at that one. Oh, well, all you can do is keep your fingers crossed and hope these raccoons get something to eat before they destroy all of the sea turtle nests. A 
there's signs of them digging it. Every nest. That nest should be hatching. Number 29. crossed over into area three. See all the little dead fish rotting on the beach here. Fish, eels, crabs, a little bit of everything. Some seagrass. people just came out onto the beach behind me. I see two more way up at the north end. So that's a total of two, four, six, seven, I've seen eight. Eight people on the beach so far. A couple guys down here just checking it out. And a couple more coming out. Saw one of our park rangers. Might be a couple volunteers there coming to help do a little cleanup. That's awesome when people come out and help volunteer picking up the trash, picking up the dead fish. Now there's pretty much no trash on the beach, it's all dead fish. There's a dead little puffer fish down there. A little puffer, poor thing. Getting to the sunlight up here. Check out the water. Still not smelling the red tide, but definitely smelling the dead fish. Here's a look at the water with the dead fish floating in it. You can see the water's gotten a lot clearer. Still not close to what it should look like. Shame, a shame seeing our beach like this. Dead crabs, dead fish. I heard that yesterday people were swimming to the north of us up in Benita. I don't know. Definitely, if you go in the water, you definitely want to shower off. Not rinse off, you want to shower off with soap. And I believe, from what I'm hearing, it's 
a little nicer. It gets nicer the further south you go, especially down towards Marco Island. But it is not very pleasant up here in North Naples with Del Norwegians. Wow, it's amazing. There was a, I just saw a few stone crabs yesterday on the beach. There is nothing left of that stone crab there. It is totally, it's just totally disappeared, decomposed almost overnight. That's crazy. We did see several of them yesterday, stone crabs. morning. Two more brave souls out here walking the beach this morning. Just absolutely heart-wrenching seeing the beach so empty. How calm that gulf is. Seen Several boats out there on the horizon. And pretty much I've seen more boats than I have people at the beach. Absolutely nobody here, just desolate. south down towards the city of Naples. It's looking to the east, the sun just popping up over the trees here. I see a beach umbrella, a beach umbrella to the north. Oh, looky here. We've been seeing a lot of these little sand dollars on the beach, a lot of them. It's a little baby sand dollar. We've seen lots of these washed up on the beach. Some a little bigger, some a lot smaller. But they are everywhere. As soon as you just you just stop and you'll you dig around and you'll find these kind of buried in the shells. So if you're into sand dollars, you come out and get some of these little ones. There's no shortage of them. No shortage of the little sand dollars. They are everywhere. Amazing. I'm guessing they also died because of the red tide. All these little sand dollars are more victims of the red tide. See, they're everywhere. See, this is a little one here. A little scallop shell. A little color there. Nice little pretty scallop. A little scallop and some sand dollars.
dead fish. Ugh. I see somebody setting up a beach chair up there. I see a beach umbrella and I, somebody up there. That's interesting. Somebody's gonna try to brave it. As long as the wind's blowing offshore, you're okay. It'll blow, if you stay up high on the beach, it'll blow that stench of the dead fish out into the gulf away from us, away from you. You just don't want to go swimming. Beautiful little slipper shell here. Beautiful little slipper. That's a nice slipper shell. The old slipper. Lots of slipper shells on the beach here at Del Norwegans. Another common shell here in Southwest Florida. Common this is the Florida fighting conch. This is a Florida fighting conch shell here. A lot of times we'll find those with the conch inside, and then of course we don't take it home. We leave it on the beach. You can see there's another one right down there. Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. Sad seeing all these dead fish and we've got the horseshoe crab over here, the dead horseshoe crab. We've seen a lot of those on the beach, the horseshoe crab right there. Between the red tide and I'm not having my beach buddy out here to talk to. I'm not having Roy here. It is kind of depressing. I don't know. I guess the good news is I'm out here and I'm not coughing and my eyes aren't burning. Those poor little dead fish would probably disagree with me. <laughs> it is just this red tide, we have seen all kinds of dead marine life. You can see a little crab right in the middle there. We've seen everything from Goliath grouper to little tiny bait fish washed up on the beach. Wow, I don't believe it somebody actually out in the water. Somebody actually out up to their top of their legs shelling out in the water.
that water does just still not it's looking better believe me it's looking a lot better it's getting a lot clearer but it's still far from pristine far from its normal natural colors still have the red tide out here We're up in area four now. This is all relatively new beach out here. All this beach out here is relatively new. little bird looking for something to eat here no fish to eat that's for sure no fish around here you look at that beautiful blue out there and you find it hard to believe that our waters are so contaminated with red tide and to the north of us, that toxic blue-green algae. Oh, that's a hundred times worse than the red tide. I think our water problems down here in South Florida have finally gotten the attention of the national news, thank God. More and more people starting to be concerned. Now if our local politicians would be as concerned as the common folks, maybe we'd get something done. Another dead crab. It's like a blue crab down here on the beach. You know, for a while you couldn't even see the bottom. Now at least we can see the bottom here. You can see some shells down there in the water. Let's hope it just continues to keep clearing. Another dead horseshoe crab. What a shame. What a shame to see these dead on the beach. Such unique, unique little animals. They date back to prehistoric times, these horseshoe crabs. <laughs> There's a pretty little scallop shell. A little tiny one.
Those are terns, royal terns, and seagulls. Trying to walk really slow. I don't want to startle them. In a little, for a little closer look here, let's see. No, thought I could zoom in a little more. The camera is just not responding. Oops, you don't want to see that. I'll try and zoom in again. Yeah, the screen is not responding here to my fingers. I got a little sweat on them. walk out to the edge of the water here. See if anything washed up, any interesting shells maybe. Something besides dead fish. Not really much of anything. Nice to find a really neat shell here. I am not seeing much of anything. Well, last week, with the, even with the red tide, I came out here and there was a lot of moon shells out here. Found a little banded tulip shell out here. seeing much of anything. Pretty much just a deserted beach. A handful of people is what we've seen this morning out here. little scallops they stick out boy do they stick out when you're walking along you really see them the bright colors we got lots of we always have lots of little cockle shells on the beach there's a little cockle shell This is area four. Most of you recognize this spot under those trees. That's where Roy and I would have our little conversations. Looking forward to being able to do that again. can't do that. You can't do it? I'm live here. Okay, I, I I'll, I'll catch you on the way back. Right you want to say something about Roy? Right I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Give you an update. Thank you. 
I mean, he's he's very depressed. He's um he's frustrated because he's got a he thought he was going to be in for a couple weeks, yeah. and we know that's right. we'll it's months. Uh, here's a poor, poor dead snook, rotting away. So sad seeing that. So sad. We'll go up the beach a little bit further and check things out. Another poor dead crab. Ugh. All these. Still having to deal with all the dead marine life on the beach. But yet when you look up in the sky, see that beautiful blue sky up there? Our old osprey nest. Don't know where still don't know what happened to them. I think they just flew away. I don't think they ever had any babies. But the colors are just so beautiful out here. And still we have that nasty red tide that we're dealing with. And the dead fish on the beach. Normally we'd be finding some interesting things out on these sandbars. We'd be seeing live fighting conchs and sea stars, but I'm sure the red tide is taking its toll on them as well. This definitely isn't, is not a tourism video, that's for sure. It's just, I see one, two, three, maybe 10 people out here. I think I see a group of people maybe cleaning up the beach down there. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe some volunteers, that'd be nice. Anybody wants to volunteer and help out picking up these dead fish can use all the hands we can get out here just let them know call the ranger station easy to find the number just google Delnor Wiggins that's all you have to google Delnor Wiggins and you'll find the place call the ranger station Interesting, the water looks a little nicer up here the further north we get. Far from pristine, but a lot nicer, that's for sure.
I guess we'll just go up to Wiggins Pass. We're so close. Still have a little beach here we can walk on. You can see the water gets a little a little darker here. It was nice, a little patch of nice water down to the south. Now it's getting greener here. Very calm though in the Gulf this morning, very calm in the Gulf. Boat heading out of the pass. I don't know if you can see it way up there. We've seen a few fishing boats heading out. There's reports of red tide, oh, 40 miles out in the Gulf. Way out there. Sad. Sad, sad. Rotting to cane fish. That's a good sized fish there. That's probably 30 inches. Ugh. Horrible sight there. Piece of a tulip shell. Imagine that. A little piece of a banded tulip shell. Cockle shell with a big hole in it. I think it's time we hang another shell on the shell tree for Roy. Say a little prayer for him. Find a nice little branch here on one of these trees, kind of overlooking the water. Oh, it's, I see the shell we, the other shell we hung for Roy. Still up there. Another big cockle shell that we hung a week or so ago. Still there. Hallelujah for that. 
We'll find another branch and hang another shell on there for him. I want it out by the water since he loves the water so much. I think we'll just hang it right in here. We'll put that shell right there for Roy. That cockle shell. Right out by the water where he likes to be. And everybody just take a minute here. Let's close our eyes and just have a little prayer for Roy. I know he'll feel it. Amen. I'm going to take a picture. Stand by. I'm back. Sorry about that. There's a shell for our good friend Roy. God bless him. Prayers for a speedy recovery. I can't imagine that there's going to be any fishermen up here at Wiggins Pass this morning. But you never know. There's a big horseshoe crab, another big dead horseshoe crab. Please keep those cards coming. The prayers and cards for Roy, please. Those cards definitely help brighten his day. Hey, a couple, maybe a shell here. Maybe a keeper for once. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> I saw that. That's the back of a pear whelk shell, a pear whelk. And then when I turned it over, you can see the inside of it. So it's half of a pear whelk shell. Still kind of neat seeing the inside of it like that, the pear whelk. And what do we have over here? This is the top. This is the top half of a banded tulip shell. That's kind of cool as well. The top of a banded tulip. You can look in there. It's a good look at the inside of a banded tulip shell. The very top. Beautiful shells when you find the whole shell. The banded tulip. And a broken cockle shell down there. A little one that's the same kind of shell we just hung on the tree for Roy. Lots of little slippers, little slipper shells on the beach. We always find slippers. This is a nice size little slipper shell here. Flip it over, kind of looks like a little slipper. See, there's dead fish up here as well. A little dead eel over there. I 
pretty much seen dead fish all along the beach this morning. However, we're not getting that awful stink of the red tide, not smelling that. Only bad smell you have to deal with is the dead fish. There's actually some person fishing, I think, up here. This is Wiggins Pass, of the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. On the other side of the pass there, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve. Another beautiful beach. Also combating the red tide over there. So far it's been a very, very peaceful morning, a peaceful beach walk. much have the place to ourselves which is understandable this morning but not very inviting looking when you look at it up close look at that sky look at the beautiful deep blue sky up there big storm clouds out in the Gulf like an ideal morning for the beach right now but obviously with the red tide nobody's coming out here our beaches are pretty much deserted Got a few. You folks just walked out here, the down came out the boardwalk to check out the beach. Everybody's just curious as to what it looks like. Looks can be deceiving, that's for sure. It might look beautiful, but underneath that water is that red algae bloom. some nice little shells here. Nothing's jumping out at me here. 
I haven't really seen any whelks or anything. Definitely warming up. Definitely getting hotter out here. Nice little fighting conch shell. The shells here on the shell trees, the prayer trees, the memory trees, whatever you want to call it. Lots of people hang shells and say a prayer for a friend. Roy's the latest shell that we've hung for Roy right over here. Roy's shell. That little bird has been following me almost the entire beach walk. It's been a very sombering morning. Empty, an empty beach. Didn't see a whole lot in the way of 
seashells. Didn't, no dolphins. Didn't see any fish swimming offshore, which is all understandable. But there might be maybe a dozen people out here on the beach. Maybe a dozen, I don't know. This beach is pretty much deserted. As I look down to the south. I'll zoom in here. You can see what it looks like. For all intents and purposes, that's an empty beach for a Saturday morning in North Naples. It's not very often we see our beaches this empty. Hey, if you enjoy my beach walks, they will get better. The red tide's not gonna be here forever, I promise. But tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to take some time to look at all my photos and videos there's some really great things that we've seen here at the beach Roy and I we've had some good times out here Roy will be back out here with me one of these days just keep him in your prayers keep those cards coming he really enjoys them Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I enjoy doing it. I love keeping everybody updated. That's what I'm here to do, update. I enjoy sharing the beauty, but I also want to keep everybody updated with what's going on here in North Naples. Keep you abreast of the situation with the water. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal information in the description of this post a little later. At the conclusion of the live feed. See, look at the water here. It looks really nice right in this little area. It looks really nice right here. Just pockets. That water right there is beautiful. I mean, that water looks gorgeous right there. Nice and clear. It's kind of funny. It's like right out where Roy would be normally sitting. Right out in front of where Roy sits. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? This is the nicest I've seen the water on the entire beach, right in this little, right in this little area here, just off of Area Four.
one more look at our deserted beach. So we'll look all the way down to the south. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday. Please, please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Again, take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. And when you do, be sure to share it. Once again, if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. Keep the phone on. Without the phone, I can't do the live feeds. <laughs> Those of you that have sent something, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. And Roy, on behalf of Roy, thank you for all of those great, wonderful cards you're sending. Those are definitely helping make it, make it through this ordeal, him knowing how many wonderful friends he has out there on Facebook. That makes his day. Again, have a wonderful Saturday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.